The most popular strategy to play craps is probably the Iron Cross. The Iron Cross has been around forever. It's a strategy born of a pretty noble concept. It's a good idea in theory, where you're playing the five, the six, the eight, and the field. And what that means is that you're getting paid on every hit. Every single roll you get paid, except for, of course, the seven. And it's nice to have that kind of action, that sort of flow of money always come into your rack. We like that about the Iron Cross. However, it's in the name. The Iron Cross is a rigid strategy. And when you're same betting the field and you're same betting the box numbers, you're grinding it out. You're giving away a big portion of your box number win to replace your field losses. And over time, you just lose. That strategy is a long-term loser. It beats the house edge to a degree where the casinos love the Iron Cross, right? It can be done better. I think we can improve the Iron Cross, and that's where the crossbow comes in. The crossbow strategy is taking the core bits of the Iron Cross that we like, the five, the six, the eight in the field, getting paid on every roll, but we're gonna go into attack mode with it. We're gonna attack certain numbers on the layout. We're gonna use our field wins to get more aggressive. We're gonna be more aggressive with our box number wins. We're gonna try and take the Iron Cross base and do something positive with it and just get on the attack. That's the idea here. So with that said, I'm John, this is Pro Craps. Let's unpack and play with the crossbow. Let's take a look at how the crossbow sets itself up. Now, you'll notice that it looks a little bit like an iron cross. You've got the five, the six, the eight in the field. Notice that we're adding the horn to this. I'm gonna explain all this to you in a second here because we play this a little bit more differently and aggressively than you do the regular iron cross. So first thing to notice is the ratio. The box numbers to the field are a three to one ratio. $30 on the box, $10 in the field, and the reason for that is the payouts. The box numbers will pay you 35 bucks. When a box number hits though, you lose that 10 in the field. If you take your 35, replace the 10, you're left with a quarter. So even at the basic iron cross level, I think that's the way to play the ratio. I think that has to be done correctly. Notice two changes though, right? The box numbers we're gonna press. And what happens is because you're gonna net $19 out of your box wins. You're gonna win 35, you're gonna replace your field, you're gonna replace the $6 in the horn that you're gonna lose. With that $19, we're gonna reinvest it. We're gonna put $5 additionally on the five to bring it to 30. We're gonna put $6 each on the six and the eight to bring them both now up to uh, 36. What that does for us is it makes both those win amounts more on the box for the next hit. You're racking a little tiny bit, which is fine. That profit is not important on the first hit. It's the second hit that we're looking to increase our win percentage on, okay? Also, the other change is the field. The field numbers, we're gonna parlay our initial wins. So you're gonna go with a $10 flat bet in the field. If a field number wins, you parlay it. Now it's a $20 bet. If that wins, you're gonna win 20, reduce back down, and you're gonna rack 30 on your field. So the field is being targeted you take your field win, reinvest it in the field, and you're looking to, to, uh, to, to, to walk away with 30 bucks on the field on two successive wins. The third element here now is the horn, and we're putting six bucks in the horn. The horn bet, if it hits a two, three, 11, or 12, they're gonna pay 30 bucks. You're gonna lose four or five depending on which number hits. So the horn will net you on its own about 25 bucks. It also pays from the field. So a horn number win is gonna win you at least 35 bucks. If it's a two or a 12, it'll earn you more. And that's what we're doing here. We're attacking the horn and trying to double up our field wins and at the same time pressing up our box numbers. For two hits, we're gonna be hyper aggressive here. The idea and the goal for this strategy is to be extra aggressive with the field number wins, again, parlaying them to extra. We're attacking the horn and we're pressing up our box numbers. Two to three hits and we're out. The goal of the strategy is to get you out of it quickly and into something else. You're trying to win whatever your actual gameplay is gonna be. 44 inside, 64 across, 96, whatever it is. You're playing this aggressive strategy early to earn you enough money to play your long-term strategy, which you're gonna to use to attack a table on the right side. So that's the idea behind this strategy. It's designed not to be played for a long time. It's very aggressive. Um, get in, get out, and get paid. That's always our mantra here, and this crossbow strategy really is 
an attack-based strategy. Now there's options that you can, you can pursue, obviously, right? The options we have here are to power press the box numbers. Don't just press them, power press them. Put more at them and really go after it hard. Um, you can do a field full progression. So instead of just parlaying the field, you can go take the field from one unit. When you win, parlay it and add a unit and go to three units, back down to two, up to six. You can really progress the field and be really aggressive with it. Um, I like taking the field numbers and targeting them elsewhere on the table. Take your field wins, grab the four and the, or the, the, the four and the 10, or the four and the nine and the 10. Take your field wins, pick up hard ways. Take your field wins, move them to the don't come, or the come, or somewhere else on the layout. If you reinvest your field wins and not just same bet them over and over again, you can start earning more money. It's gonna increase your spread, it's gonna increase your exposure, yes. But um, when you're doing it with profits, when you're, when you're reinvesting those wins, you're really using the casino's money, their original money, against them to try and be aggressive. And again, this crossbow strategy is a very aggressive and highly targeted iron cross. Target your field wins the way you see it, the way you wanna play it. So that's the basic setup for it. Essentially, it's an iron cross with a horn, and the real change we make is what we do with those wins. So with that said, let's look at the crossbow now in action. We're gonna go to the table and watch uh, how the crossbow sort of becomes becomes a live strategy with dice. I'll put the chips out there and show you how this whole thing works. Let's look at the crossbow set up at the table. So we have out here in front of us $101. That's our initial spread plus $12 in the rack, and I'll explain that in a minute. The way that we set up our core bets is this. The inside numbers, the five, the six, and the eight, are played at the $25 and $30 level. $10 into the field. $6 goes into the horn. We're gonna pay Play $1 on the aces, $1 on the 12, $2 on the 11, and $2 on the three. That's your initial 101 out there. This looks an awful lot like an iron cross with a horn. And at the initial stages, it does. Here's the differences. One, we play this at a three to one ratio. And the reason for that is this. In a core iron cross, take the, take the horn numbers out of this. This would pay 35 bucks you're of course gonna lose your field, you can replace the field and rack a quarter. So I think at the base iron cross level, if that's all you ever wanna do, make sure you're at three to one. At a minimum, rack a quarter on all the hits. I think that's an important piece where you can actually plan for your profits. That works out pretty well from a financial standpoint. Now what we do here with the crossbow, a little bit different than that, I'm gonna take and show you how each of these bets works when they get paid. We'll start with the box numbers. The box number gets hit, it's gonna pay 35 bucks. I'm gonna pay that 35 bucks this way, just for illustrative purposes. We're gonna pay it with five whites, and I'm gonna pay it with, or five reds rather, and 10 in white. So 25, $35, and there's a reason for that. We're gonna go ahead and have to lose our field. We're gonna lose our horn, and we're gonna take our box number victory and replace the field we're gonna take $6 and go back to the horn and replace the money that just got lost, which means we're left with $19. So a $35 win turns into a $19 win because you're bleeding out. This is the, the core problem with the base iron cross. You take your wins and you're losing, or you're reinvesting half to cover losses. Now what we're gonna do here though is this, we're gonna increase the six and eight to $36 each, paying 42. The five goes to $35 to $30 as well, also pays $42. We're gonna rack that two bucks. Now, with the next hit on those, the next hit on those numbers pays $42. $42 plus the two that you won before is $44. Essentially, you're ready to go on the inside except for you would have lost another, another 16 bucks. So you're getting closer here. Right, by pressing those bets up. So you take that 40, we'll take the 42, and again, I'll press up one more time. We'll press here, we'll press up the six and the eight by one more, take them in the 48, or the 42 rather. Um, these will now pay $50 on the next hit. We can take this quarter and rack it up. Now I've got 27 in the box, right? Replacing those numbers as well. So that's the run up here. We're gonna press our inside numbers 
which the standard iron cross doesn't have you doing, I want you to press these up because I want that next hit if we get it, if we get it um, to be what pays for our inside action. So press the box numbers is the first change to the iron cross that we make. Use these to repay what you lost, but press them up. Get them in higher action because you want to beat house edge. You gotta get more money on the table and use their money, profit money, to build those bets up. That's the first change. Okay, let's put these back the way they started. The next change we make to the standard iron cross is in the field. So in the field, and let's just take any number we get in the field. We'll, we'll ignore, the, we'll ignore the, uh, the horn number for now. But a field number is gonna pay 10 bucks at minimum. Taking the two and the 12 out of it. You're gonna get paid 10. We're gonna press that up. You're always gonna press your first field win to 20. When that wins, it's gonna pay 20. You're gonna regress it back down to 10 again. So you're looking for two successive field wins to net you 30 bucks. That's the idea with the field. We're gonna parlay or press the field wins. Now, if you happen to hit a two or a 12, they would have paid you double. I would only press one of them and I'd rack the other. And still parlay, right, so looking for that win. And now, if that happens to pay off, you racked $40 out of the field instead of just 20. Same betting would have been 20, we doubled that output. And that's the idea behind the field. We wanna make sure that we're attacking the field with successive wins. So that's the second part of the crossbow that's different than a regular iron cross, reinvesting your field wins. Now early, we're gonna reinvest our field wins in the field. We're gonna press it up and go for it. In the horn, what happens is this. These will each pay 30. So let's say that the 11 hits, for example. The 11 pays 30. Four to that two, you'll lose the other four. You'll lose four bucks, which means your net win here is $26, which is great. I mean, that's racking 26 bucks is racking 26 bucks. So the additional piece to that though is that this wins as well. So you're gonna take your, your, your 35, your 30, and add 10 to it. Now this 10 gets parlayed. This becomes pure profit back to your rack. We like that about this. If the number happened to be a two or a 12, then of course, you're gonna get paid your 30 here plus 20 or 30 if you're getting paid triple on your 12. So that 12 and that two become bonus hits for you. And again, the crossbow is all about attacking early. We wanna attack these field numbers. We wanna attack those horn numbers. And that's why we set it up this way. Because again, not a long-term strategy. We're using the, the crossbow to get us into our base quickly. Now, yes, every win in the field or the box that's not a poor number is gonna cost you six bucks. It's a little bit of a tax that you're paying, but you're looking again, you're looking to score on those early hits and get out of here quickly. I think what makes the crossbow to me um, a very flexible and fun strategy to play is this. If you come at it with the goal of, I'm gonna win 44 bucks to go 44 inside, or I'm gonna win 64 bucks to go across, or I'm gonna win 66 to go 66 inside, whatever your goal is, it's aggressive enough to get you there in a couple of rolls. Two or three hits, you should be at goal. The idea has always been to get you out of this, transition from that to something else. However, if you want to keep playing it, the crossbow is actually a great strategy to keep on playing. What I would probably do though, is get out of the horn. Once I'm at my third hit, I'd probably take the horn out of here, most likely, and start working the field harder. And take those field wins and find ways to keep pressing in here, obviously, you're not gonna stop pressing your box, but take the field wins and do something interesting with it. Take the field win and grab the nine. Now the next time the nine hits, you're gonna get paid here and here. You're gonna get paid both places. That's a beautiful thing. The next one on the field, well, grab the 10. Now when the 10 hits, you get paid in both places. Same with the four. You could take your field wins and start moving them to the don't come and getting some seven action as the roll goes on. I like doing that a lot. I like to pick up some seven. So field hits three times, you might end up with some numbers back in here, like so. That's not a bad place to be um, using your field wins for other purposes. I think it's a great way to do it. You know, a lot of folks will play this type of strategy from here, come out from the don't pass. Well, in that case, your field wins can be used to start grabbing odds on your don't and you can progressively add odds into your don't pass. Again, 
putting more wood behind the arrow of the seven if you get a chance. But again, target your field wins. The crossbow is all about targeting wins. Target your field wins towards something else. Grab new numbers, grab the seven, increase your power of the seven. Hell, even get into the hard ways if you want to use those field wins for something different. I think that's where I think you're gonna make, put that back, your most, your most aggressive stance from the crossbow strategy is how do you play with the field wins and what pressing strategy do you use in the box? Again, I think a single unit press or a half press in the box is the way to go. When we talk iron cross, nobody talks about pressing. I think you gotta press your box numbers. You gotta start them high and press them and regress them back down as you go. You gotta reinvest your field wins. That's the, that's the crossbow. I think the crossbow wins when you are aggressive and creative with the field wins and when you're pressing in the box. Now, the horn numbers, optional. I like them early. I don't like them long-term. For two or three rolls, the horn number is a great way to kind of stab at the field. I don't think it's a good long-term play. I think it's good in the short term, but over time, the house edge will crush your horn bets. So again, first two, three rolls, fine. After that, transition into here. And again, reuse that field and press your box. That's the crossbow. Attack the table when it gives you the chance to attack. Don't sit here and same bet this thing or the house edge will murder you. I promise you. All right, there it is. Let's go ahead and, um, and get a little roll out here and see how this thing looks when the dice are flying. Okay, the rack has been reset, the table's clean. What we're gonna do is just roll this out to conclusion multiple times. I'm not gonna you know, run a big profit stack here. What I wanna do is roll it, see how many times we get to our base, and then from there, we'll roll it a few times to see how, how, how much we can build. So let's play it out, and we'll get our basic strategy set up. Every bet is off, by the way, on the come out. I'm just gonna leave them out here so you can see them, but we're gonna be off when the puck is off. We're gonna follow the puck. Here we go. Our come out so far is an 11, so nothing yet. And our first point will be an eight, an eight easy. And here we go, the game is afoot. Looking for a couple of hits and out. Unfortunately, we start out with a seven and lose immediately. That's gonna crush any strategy. Nothing you can do about the point seven out. Even if we're on the don't pass for a quarter, it doesn't help us here. So we're gonna reset the board again, coming out anew, and again, let's track how the strategy works over time. Come out seven, don't worry about that. We are off with the puck. Come out 11, don't worry about that. We're still off with the puck. Aces, boy, we're having a tough time getting out of the gate here. There's a 10. Our first point's gonna be a 10, or our next point will be a 10. Here we go. Game is on. Two, three, five. Two, three, five. So what happens here, we lose our field. We lose our horn numbers. We're gonna pay ourselves again with reds, five reds and 10 whites. We'll start replacing our bets. We're gonna go back to the field. We're gonna go back to the horn, like so. We're gonna press up our inside numbers and take $2 back to our rack. That's hit number one. Here we go. There's a hard four. Hard four was the number. Now that's a field win. Nothing up here in the box. We're gonna take that, we're gonna parlay that field win. We're gonna lose our horn. So we'll have to, and again, I said earlier, I forgot to do this. We'll need to have 12 bucks in our rack. In this situation, you're gonna have to replace your horn from your rack. So there's gonna be a situation where you go a little bit backwards like that, that'll be fine. There's a three, one, four, a repeater. So what happens, again, we lose the horn. This is gonna pay 20. So I'm gonna pay it three reds and five whites. We'll put the six dollars back to the horn. We're gonna take two off the top and we're gonna rack 24 bucks to the rack. Now, if you look at our rack here, we've got 20, we have actually 25. So we're about halfway to goal. Here we go. Our field's back to standard size again. And there's a five, a three, two, five. So what happens here? 
we lose our horn. We lose our field. Five at the $30 level pays 42. Now we're gonna virtually do this. I'm gonna go ahead and replace the field with 10. I'm gonna put $6 back on the horn. We have $26 here. If I bring this stuff back down, I'm gonna bring my initial bets back down to where they were, like so. I'm gonna replace in my rack the $6 that I had to reinvest. And if I take my current profits back to the rack, we'll take everything back to the rack and let's add it all up and see where we stand. There is a quarter, there's another quarter, there's a five, and here is five in whites. So we have 50, 60, three dollars in just those few number of hits. Now at this point, you're done with the strategy. All of this can come back to your rack. Every bit of it comes back. Here's your starting bankroll. Here's your profit. Now you're playing your inside strategy. That was one shot through where we got burned on the early seven. You can't fight City Hall. The early seven will get you. Um, but when it works out, three hits in, we hit a parlay in here. We didn't hit a whore number, but we hit a parlay in two fields and we're out of the game. That's the way that this ought to work. Let's reset that. I'll put the profits back in the bank. We'll reset our rack one more time. So let's go with our backup money. There's the five, the six, the eight. There's our field. And there's our first six bucks into the horn. We have two backup horns ready to go. Puck is off, dice are out. Five, two, seven. We're not on the line, doesn't matter. Hard 10, hard 10. The first point again here, another hard 10. That's a couple of those. Now we're playing. Great, that's great, yo 11. So what happens here, the field pays for the 11. We're gonna parlay that, be aggressive there. The horn, the six bucks, what's gonna happen is we're actually gonna lose one, two, three, four dollars. So the horn, you're left with the two dollars you had on that, but you're gonna get paid 30. So our net on that is 30 bucks here, which actually nets us, the net here is 24, plus the field. Let's bring that back to our rack. And we can reinvest from our rack here or from this five, we can take that five, get five ones, and go back into the horn. And our first hit earns us $26. So we're actually in pretty good shape. Get that field to, to re-hit, we'll be in great shape. There's a five, four, nine, that's awesome. The five, four, nine, we'll lose our six bucks in the field. But that field parlay is going to pay 20 bucks. If we reduce it back down to its core, we're gonna bring $30 to our rack. If I were to color this up and pay $30 that way, our rack now has 50. Six bucks that would have gone back to the horn. Our, our setup is back to complete and I've got $50 in profit. So we have earned our money back plus 50 we can now play our inside strategy. This money here becomes what we're gonna play with moving forward. We're in and out of that strategy in just a couple of hits, and that's the idea behind it. When the numbers work out that way for you, it makes it very easy to get to some kind of a foundation and start playing. Now, if you wanted to keep going, what I'd probably do is stop playing the horn. Let's simulate that. We're gonna take our 50 bucks, call it profit, and now we're gonna go ahead and play this aggressively. We're gonna say, let's pretend we're gonna keep playing the, the, uh, the crossbow aggressively. And what I'm gonna do is take my field wins. First, we're gonna try and grab some insights. We're gonna grab some new numbers with it, and then we'll start maybe moving into the don't. We'll see what happens here. Six, three, nine. Pays in the field, we'll grab the nine. So again, reinvest your field wins other places on the table. There's a yo 11. Again, that will be a nice hit for us. Let's grab the four. Now I've got everything but the point and the field. There's the seven. Unfortunately, this roll ends before we can actually take advantage of those collects. Really, we burned two chances of, of racking money, but 
to transition from the old get me to base strategy into something aggressive, that's what you could probably do. Let's run, let's run this a few more times, but this time what I wanna do is instead of taking our field wins and running up into new box numbers and pressing like crazy, what I wanna do here is transition ourselves from light to dark as we go here. We'll still work the box pretty hard if we get the hits in here, but I wanna move my field wins if we get them through the don't come, and we'll do it again where we run it through the don't pass just to get a sense of how that could look. So I'll get the base set up again with the five, six, and eight in our field and our three shots at the horn. Here we go, we're set back up again and puck will be off. Of course, bets are off when the puck's off and here we go, we'll get a new point established and we'll start running our aggressive plays in here through the dark side and we'll do it pretty quick. We're gonna try and not necessarily work the base strategy first, we're gonna be aggressive the entire time here. So our first point's gonna be a 10. Moving from the dark side, here we go. We're gonna take our wins and be aggressive, hopefully, Avoid that early seven and get into the into the don't. That's aces, that's a one there and a one here, that's aces, which is really great. This is gonna be a nice way for us to get going here. The field is gonna pay two because it's the two pays double. We'll get paid twice in here. What I'm gonna do is, is pull one of these aside, we're gonna stack one of them up. We're gonna press this field to two units, take this one win, run to the don't come. The horn, because it was aces, we're gonna lose five. We're gonna lose the rest of our horn bets, but that one pays 30, 25, 30, okay? This is a good chance for us to do something interesting. We're gonna run through the don't here. This 30 bucks, we have a choice. We could rack it or early in this roll, perhaps looking for hopefully a nice two or three shot roll here, we could pick up the nine or the four or press the six and the eight or something along those lines, right? What I'm gonna do here is actually go 15 into the don't come and rack one quarter. Instead of pressing the first time through, I'm gonna rack a quarter and get something in the rack here while I'm making this transition. Let's see what happens on the next roll. Here's a five, three, eight. So what's gonna happen here is this. We're gonna lose our parlay, which is unfortunate, but okay. We have now $15 traveling behind the eight. Now you might say, we're hedged here, and we are hedged to some degree. This bet is still better than that bet. Remember, when you're going through the don't come, the seven is always the strongest play, right? But that eight did pay as that come bet traveled. So we're gonna get paid 35 here. Let's put our field back. I'm gonna take this quarter for now and rack it. We're only gonna be aggressive with those field hits. I'm gonna pull this eight down as well. So we're gonna pull the eight down as that don't come goes to it. I'm gonna to wanna to replace this horn. I'm gonna pull this dollar back and put our next full six dollars out there for this next shot. So we're not gonna come into the don't come, except for with field wins. If a don't come knocks onto one of these place bets, we'll just pull the place bet down and start locking up uh, monies in our rack. Here we go. Uh, five or the six hits, we'll go ahead and uh, do a press and collect there. An option that we had as well, and I'll talk about this here in a minute. First, we'll take care of our payments. We win $35 on the five, we'll lose our field, we'll lose our horn. I'm gonna reset the horn for the last time. Again, I'm taking three shots at that horn. One of them paid off, the other two, we'll burn them if we have to. Our 10 bucks from the five goes back into the field. This quarter's ours to keep. Now we can take this quarter and grab another number with it or go back to the rack. And if we go back to the rack, you'll see that our rack right now has 105 in it. Our initial spread is 101. At this point, we're out of the hand. So we've taken enough hits around the table to get ourselves back in business over here. We're good. Everything we do from this point forward can be seen as profit. Now again, field hits are gonna come through the don't. We're gonna transition from light to dark and hopefully hit this last horn number. Oh my gosh, we did it. That's a one, two, three, okay? So in the horn, the three, we have two bucks on the three. The $6 horn, it's a dollar, a dollar, two dollars, two dollars, okay? So we're gonna lose all but the two bucks we had on the ace deuce, like so, and that's gonna pay 30 bucks. That was our last go at the horn. We're gonna take these whites back. I'll take this 30 bucks, and I'll put it here for now so we can see it. In the field, that hits. We're gonna parlay that up and get that field to pay off for us. We're gonna take this 30 bucks, and now I'll be aggressive with this because I know I'm even 
We're going to pick up the nine. Rack the nickel. And now we have, again, three numbers working for us, and the eight is on the, or the seven is against the eight right here. If that parlay wins, we'll get some more don't action going. Here we go. There's a five, one, six. So again, our field parlay, it's a misfire. No big deal, though. The six will still pay. 35. Replace the field. And now we have this quarter. And again, we can make a decision here with this quarter. I can rack it. I can grab a number like the four. I can split it between the four and 10. Or I can be hyper aggressive here and drop the whole quarter into the don't. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start moving away from these box numbers and into some don't play here. I'm going to, again, I'm going to use this strategy uh, to transition from one side to the other. And that couldn't have worked out any better. What we end up with here is our don't pass or don't come moving to the four. It's a great number to be on on the don't. And our field will pay. Again, aggressive, we'll parlay the field. Give that repeater if we can get it. We didn't, unfortunately, it's a three, two, five. We didn't get our repeater in the field. We have had a tough time getting that parlay to pay off here, but that's okay. I, I like taking the shot. If we can take the shot, we take the shot. Again, the crossbow is about being aggressive, not passive with the iron cross. So three, two, five, five is gonna pay, 35 bucks, okay? And again, a choice here. I can put 10 in the don't, I can put a quarter in the don't, I can take some of this and go with odds up in here. I have a lot of choices with this 35 bucks. We're going to go back to the field, of course. And this quarter, what I'll probably do with that quarter is follow my plan and get one more don't. I like having three don'ts if I can get it. No more than three. Don't pass plus two don't comes is a great place to be. This will be our last roll into the don't. And we'll see what happens here. There's our seven. So it's a bummer that it happens while we're in the don't. That's an unfortunate timing for that. Not the end of the world though. We'll lose these, okay? That will come back to the house over here to the bank, but these two will pay off. We'll get paid a quarter on that eight, or on, that, on the four, and 15 for our don't eight. And we're back to our rack with about 100 in profit, which is not bad. There's our initial buy-in, and we've got, well, 75, 75, 80 bucks there. Um, would have been nice to have that last don't come, get set, and then hit that seven. We could have been more aggressive pressing, but again, if I'm deciding ahead of time to cycle wins through the don't, I'm doing that and taking down the place numbers that they that they come behind as we go, trying to lock a little bit. There's the okay, for this version, what I wanna do is I wanna showcase using the don't pass as part of this. So we're gonna actually come out with our normal setup, the five, six, and eight, the field, and the horn. And again, these will all be off on the come out. We're gonna add a new thing. We're gonna add the don't pass. We're gonna add a $50 don't pass bet. And what I'm gonna do here is if we get some wins, we're gonna take those wins and start taking odds down here. So instead of cycling through our don't come like we did the last time, instead of grabbing initial numbers like the previous demos, this time we're gonna use the option of building up down here and having one strong seven bet. We'll see how that plays out for us. Here we go, we're gonna come out with aces, come out aces, that's good. I'll take the win, that's again, when this happens, when I'm testing strategies like this, the come out winners are nice, the come out losers aren't great. We'll rack it up and take the money, of course, you wouldn't turn it down at the casino, but that's not the part of the strategy that I'm trying to demonstrate. I wanna demonstrate the flow of money, not necessarily the come out luck or, or bad luck as the case were. Okay, the point will be six here. Here we go, point's gonna be six. And again, we'll see how aggressive we get to be with these bets. Everything is on now. There's a five, three, eight, five, three, eight. So what'll happen here, we'll lose our horn, of course. We'll take one of our remaining two horn shots and put that back in there. We're gonna lose our field. That eight is gonna pay 35 bucks. We'll replace our field and I have 25. And again, with the point being a six, um, I can lay, I have to lay 30. I'll take that out of my rack. We'll lay 30 to win the quarter. So we're gonna lay six to win five down there in the, in the, in the, in the uh, don't pass odds. And every, every hit that we get here, we'll do the same thing. We're not gonna press these up. We're just gonna take those quarters and keep throwing them out there and rolling it that way. Here we go, next one. Three, one, four. So we will lose our horn. Our field, however, will pay. And we're gonna parlay that field up. 
Okay, we're out of money for the horn. I could break the 50 that I won on that don't pass come out. I'm not gonna do that. Um, because I used the next horn's money to make my odds right, we're just gonna forget this part of the bet right here. I don't have the funds to go in there. I'm not gonna dig into my pocket and do that. That's okay. It's a good part of the strategy, but it's not the be all end all. So if I don't have it, we're gonna be okay with ignoring it. Here we go, next roll. It's a six, four, 10, beautiful. What happens here is the field that parlay wins for us this time. It pays 20. We're gonna reduce the field back to $10 and I've got 30 bucks here on that win. We're gonna go ahead and grab a green for that and make our odds look like 60. So with that field parlay, we've just doubled the amount of odds we have and we're gonna grow our seven support as we go. Now again, we're playing against the six, right? Which makes it a little tough to do. Um, we're gonna have to be okay with that, right? You're, you're again, the don't pass, you're still the favorite here, even though your number is the six. You're still the favorite. Here we go, 314. Again, field will pay. Let's parlay it. Let's get a back-to-back -back field if we can, huh? 314, that's a repeater on that, that's amazing. That's another 30 bucks, 25, 30 bucks. Um, we're gonna actually, up, the way this will, this will pay, it's gonna pay 20, we're gonna reduce down, and it looks like 30. So there's the 30 that that's gonna be. 30 bucks, again, we're gonna go stack up our odds. We can go pretty high here, right? We can win five times this flat bet, right? So we can get our odds up to, uh, we can win up to 150, so we can get our odds up to 180. So we have room to grow here as we get on. There's a hard eight, eight the hard way. So rinse and repeat, we're gonna go, the field's gonna win, or the field's gonna lose rather, I'm sorry, the field loses. The eight pays 35. We're gonna drop 10 the field. We have a quarter here, we can't really add directly to our odds. We do have these that we can break from earlier, from our, our earlier win. I'm gonna go ahead and break it now. It, it, now is the time where it makes sense to do so. We'll break that into five nickels. I can take that quarter that we just won with a nickel and get our odds really built up. And if this is making you nervous, you have this. You've always got a way to hedge that out. You've got, uh, we have 120 bucks out there, so we can, we can go two more times. Um, so, you know, if you want to throw, I don't know, 15 bucks out here uh, on, the, on, the, on the hard six, you're welcome to do that. I'm not gonna do it here, but that's definitely a play you can make. The higher this number gets, it's gonna start making sense to drop a quarter out here at some point. Let's go. Three, two, five, three, two, five. So once again, field loser, and this is the Iron Cross at its worst, right? The Iron Cross when you're same betting sucks, and this is what you see. Field loser, you're gonna get paid your 35. On that five, we're gonna go back to the field, we're gonna take another nickel from our rack and bump our odds up even higher. Now we're at 150. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this in for a black, and this in for a green. There we go, 150 odds. Off we go. We can go one more time if we need to. There's a hard 10, hard 10. So finally, field win. Let's get that field to parlay for us, shall we? Three, one, four, it worked out perfectly. So again, that parlay is gonna pay 20. We're gonna go back to 10 here. That's 30 bucks. Let me change this in for a quarter. And now we're at our max odds. We're at 180 to win 150 with 50. So we're, we're at our max here. And we've got here, we have 180 and 50. So I've got 220 out there. Again, I could put a quarter on that hard six if you're really nervous about that. We'll put the quarter out there. We have nothing in our rack. We have shown zero profit. Our entire play here is on that. Now what happens, we're maxed up. We can start collecting in here. This roll keeps going. Let's see if the roll keeps going. Hey, look at that hard six. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So what happens? Obviously, $35 win here. Lose the field here. The odds at 180, are gonna pay 150. Oh no, I'm sorry, all right, that was not a seven, that was the hard six here. This hard six, nine to one. We're gonna get paid nine 
quarters out of here. Nine quarters, the last time I checked, was two and a quarter, right? Four, eight, nine quarters coming back, right? We're gonna lose this. So we won 250, we lost one 235. We actually netted 15 bucks by having that hard six in there. So um, luckily the point came hard and we'll live to fight another day. What I'm gonna do, right back out there with that $50 don't, rack the two blacks, love racking them blacks, and we are in profit. We're in profit, we gotta love that. And actually this 35 can come back as well. If you look at our starting money, there's our 100, and, it's actually 112, right? So we're, we're, without breaking down whites, there's your starting bankroll, there's your profit. Not a bad way to go, right? Building that thing up, we got lucky with the hard way coming, but either way, we would have been in great profit. You're gonna make good money on the hard way here like we did, or you're gonna make great money down here if that odds had paid out on the seven. Well, there's the crossbow. The crossbow is, a, I think, a great strategy. It, it takes what was a good idea in the Iron Cross, the five, six, eight, and the field, and improves it. We're gonna target those field wins. We wanna reinvest the money from the field into something else. It could be reinvesting into the field, as you saw, as a parlay or as a progression. We could reinvest the field money um, in the don't come and start getting some seven action. You can reinvest that field money on the come and replace some of your inside bets. You can reinvest that field and pick up additional box numbers. Reinvest the field into the hard ways. Take the field and use it as lay odds if you're starting the strategy from the don't pass. So much you can do with that field. And again, you can use that with the table or just the way that you wanna play. Take your field wins and target them for other things. I think also being aggressive with your box number wins by pressing and regressing or power pressing those box number wins. Again, attack the numbers when they come and be aggressive with it. The enemy of you and your bankroll is same betting. Same betting feeds the house edge. We wanna take those wins and reinvest them and pull out as quickly as we can. Two, three hits, be done with it. The crossbow is a great way to get to your foundation aggressively. Fun to play. Hope you enjoyed that. And again, looking forward to your comments and feedback. If you've got a better way to do it, if you have other ways to reinvest field or box number wins, let us know in the comments. We're happy to refilm and do additional uh, add-on videos to this. I think it's a good starting point for uh, the more advanced player once they've outgrown the basic iron cross. Thanks again for watching. I'm John, this is ProCrafts. We'll see you in the next one. God bless.